Alright, what's up guys, this is Jake. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a drop-down menu inside of your Wix website here. So, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is make sure that you're inside of the Wix editor. And then once you are, we're going to head over here to Menus and Pages and go ahead and open this up. Now, there's two different ways that we can go ahead and create a drop-down menu, and I'm going to go ahead and show you both. So, first up here, I'm going to go ahead and just create a brand new page right here and I'm going to just make it a blank one right now and I'm going to go ahead and name this page menu one and then I'm going to click done and what I'm now going to do really quick is click on this and I'm going to give this a background and I'm going to just make it gray right here and now I'm going to go ahead and go back to menus and pages and I'm going to go ahead and add another page here. So I'm going to add just another blank page for this example. And then I'm going to put sub menu one for the name here. And now I'm going to add another page here and name it sub menu two. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do really quick is open up sub menu two change this page background to another color and then I'm going to open up this page and change the page background to a different color just so we can distinguish all of these really quickly. Now I'm going to go ahead and come back in here into the menu and we are going to turn this into a drop down menu right here. So all you have to do here is click on the item that you want to be a part of the drop down menu and drag it over to the right here. So you can see that if we drag it over to the right, it's now going to be nested under the item that we dragged it under. So we can go ahead and just do that with another one. And like I said, you can drag it under any of these if you want, but we're gonna go ahead and drag it right under this right here. And now we can go ahead and see that these two pages are now a sub page of this main page right here menu one so now if we came over here and clicked preview really quickly to take a look at our site we can see here that if we click on menu one which is the main page we just created it's right here and we remember that that was this dark gray and if we hover over it we can see the two menu items right here so sub menu one we can see here was the rose background and then sub menu two here we can see was the green background so that's the first way that we can go ahead and create a drop down menu. But let's say we want to create a drop down menu where this top item here isn't clickable. So let's say we had menu one and this wasn't a page that we actually wanted. All we wanted was the drop down items, but we didn't actually want this to be clickable. That's what we're going to go ahead and do now. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the editor, go over to menus and pages. And instead of adding a new page, what I'm going to click on here is add a folder and I'm just going to name this folder one and click done and we can see right here that if we look next to folder one we can see that this shows right here this folder icon versus the page so that's how we know it's a folder and now I'm gonna go ahead and just add two more pages again so I'm gonna hit blank page And I'll just name it subfolder one, and I'm gonna add one more. And name it subfolder two. Click done, and then as far as uh, moving these into the um, drop down menu, it's the same exact process. We just go ahead and drag it under here, and we will drag the second one under there as well. And now let me go ahead and open up these pages really quick and give them unique colors. So that way we can distinguish them when we go ahead and do the test. So now we have them as red and blue. So, so now I'm going to go ahead and come up here and click preview once again. And now if we try to click on folder one, we can see that we cannot click on this at all. It's unclickable versus where when we try to click on menu one, we can see that menu one is a separate page, but we can see that folder one is not a separate page. It's solely just the menu item. But then if we click on uh, subfolder one, we can see that this is its own page and subfolder two is its own page right here. 
So that's how you can go ahead and create drop down menus within Wix. It's pretty easy and intuitive to do. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials, and I'll see you guys in another video.